I'm delighted to speak on this motion here today and I want to thank the regional independents for bringing forward this uh, very important motion. I know that I held a very uh, good briefing before Christmas with the Irish Dental Association and indeed two, two uh, deputies from the regional group, Deputy Murphy and Deputy Shanahan, attended the briefing. So it was great to have uh, so many people from different groupings and indeed uh, different parties present at that group briefing. Um, I just want to, to, I suppose, start by saying that, you know, we, it's no shock to us all that, that this the dental uh, services are in crisis. They're in deep crisis as we speak. And I know my own constituency of Leash Offaly is one of the worst in the state. I actually came across an issue a couple of weeks ago where I was contacted by a parent of a young uh, boy, 10 years old, who was pleading um, for help in terms of accessing dental treatment for this child because if he didn't have urgent treatment, he'd actually end up having an operation on his jaw. So it, it just shows the seriousness of this issue. And I, I just don't feel that there's urgency or enough urgency given to this issue by government or indeed by the Department of Health or by the HSC. But I want to thank the Irish Dental Association and indeed I welcome the representatives here this evening. But they have been highlighting the challenges that they're facing in terms of a medical card scheme that is just not fit for purpose that doesn't focus on prevention strategies, that doesn't do anything in terms of delivering long term for people. And it really is a, a situation that needs urgent intervention uh, from the Minister from Health, for Health. I don't believe that this can continue any longer and it should not be allowed to continue on any longer. I understand that there has been um, some calls for meetings with the department and the HSE, but there needs to be meaningful and constructive engagement. And I believe that the Minister for Health should be central to that process. And it is my understanding that the Irish Dental Association have written no less than twice to the Minister for Health and have still yet to receive a response. They have written on uh, the 20, I believe on the 10th of January 2023 and previously back in 2022 on the 6th of December. Now, look, at, I'm asking again for the Minister for Health to intervene in terms of this issue. I believe the Minister is central to making things happen. And I think that with constructive engagement, we can certainly progress this issue and we can bring in the meaningful reforms that are needed in terms of a medical card scheme that, as I said earlier, is just not fit for purpose. So again, I, I would uh, actually urge the, the Minister to take on board what I'm saying. I know that I've raised this issue in the Dáil a number of times. I've raised parliamentary questions and during leaders' questions in November of 2021, I highlighted the fact that you know, I was particularly concerned um, in my own constituency that it was becoming one of the worst constituencies. I specifically asked the Taoiseach in November 2021 whether the Department of Health would respond positively in the near future to the Irish Dental Association's request for the appointment of an independent chair and confirmation of a framework for negotiations equivalent to that agreed with the Irish Medical Organisation seven years ago. Now, that is not a big ask. It's very constructive and it's certainly something that could bring a resolution to this issue if the political will was there. And I'll, I'll end on that note. So again, I'm urging for uh, urgent intervention, please.